rides are pretty nice going through those gears. Hi, I'm Blue with another episode of My Car Story. And we're in Illinois slash Chillinois today. It's a little cold as we're getting towards the end of the year, but today I have Kathy and Roger with a great Pontiac for you. So Kathy, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1961 Pontiac Ventura bubble top. Nice. And Roger, you're gonna walk around with me. This one's the four speed. So you're gonna take me for the ride today. Correct. Perfecto. All right, let's go take a look at our bubble top with a four speed. We'll turn it around for you, but while we've got it this way in the sun, well, you're gonna enjoy this one. And take a look at that. Now, Roger, come with me. I wanna feature these eight lugs for just a second. Now, you shared that there's a difference. These are the correct lugs for this car. This is the most stock car. Tell me what's going on here, because I do see the, um, I'll call it reinforcement along those lugs. Well, when they came out with a 1960, they had a reinforcement edge to make the wheel stronger, but to have that edge, they had to shorten the fin. So in 60, halfway through 62, they went to, they eliminated that reinforcement rim, and they lengthen the, the length of the fin. So a 62 will have longer fins, no reinforcement, but the 61, this is just the way it should be. Right. Got it. That is great news. Obviously, well, I had no idea of that until you just shared it with me, and that's kind of the fun of the channel, looking at this Ventura, is you get to see all the different pieces. Now, as we step back one more time, tell me the different trim levels, because obviously I know that, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the Bonneville's the top of the line. Correct. But what was, how did this kind of go? There's Venturas in the middle, is it the bottom, or? Catalina's first, then the Ventura, then Star Chief, then Bonneville. Got it, and each one of them, they get a little more trim. Yeah, basically, okay. right. What else besides that? Uh, well, they were actually, the Star Chief and the Bonneville are seven inches longer than this car. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, got it. And obviously the bubble top here. Did they call it a bubble top in 61 or no? Not back then they didn't. Not back then they didn't. It's a two-door hardtop with no post. Now is there a remote for this so this mirror, you can move it or do you have to move your hand outside the that car? That is also a remote. When they're up forward on the fender, they're remote mirrors. Got it. They did have the ones that went on the doors, but this was an option. This was an option. Okay, so that's an option to have it up there. has a little more of a European look. And speaking of the look of this car, well that's pretty cool coming right at you. We've got a little wind today, we're going to deal with that. We've got the 1961 Land of Lincoln, Illinois plates. And as you can see, we've got a little extra grill up here that maybe you don't notice at first. I notice there's no Pontiac word on the front of it, but we do have that badge right there. And we do have a 61 Catalina coming up as well that you'll see, and that has the badge there that says Pontiac. Let's open this up, shall we? We've got the fender ornaments here, the chrome fender ornaments. Now that looks impressive. Um, what do we have here? This is factory tri-power. Factory tri-power. Can we just unspin that and just take the center disc out to show them what that means? So you have three dual, is it dual carburetors or three, vent three single venturis? Three two barrels. Three two barrels. So if we pop out this piece here, and I stick my camera there, you can see the three carbs there. Very cool. Okay, we can put that back on while you're putting that back on. Now, the other car you had was air-conditioned, and you'll see back here that that was all, all kinds of piping going on back there. And the other thing that was interesting, too, what, what is this big... Uh, that big can. Coffee can. Those carburetors are vacuum operated. Okay. And that's to boost the vacuum. To, to have boost the vacuum. Open it up. And you shared with me these holes here. When you have a car, uh, an air conditioned car, they put a little piece of rubber in rubber there. Rubber around to seal it to the hood. To seal it to so the, the hood. The wind all goes through the radiator. Let me show you that hood for a second, too. That will catch you sometimes if you're not paying attention. And here we see the power brakes. Notice you have the marking there on the back wall. So this car is a survivor? Pretty much. It's been repainted. Yeah. It hasn't had a frame on for anything. Yeah, really nice. And we have the all-important sticker. 
that sticker tag there defining everything we have on this car. And it really looks good. We're going to take advantage of this being in the sun. Let's start it up here, and I'll come in the back of it. We'll step on the brakes. We'll. Uh, I notice it is a, a four-speed, so I'm going to stand right there at the moment. Very nice. Let's let you listen to this. Exhaust notes. Roger, give it a rev, please. So we've turned the car around, and as you can see on the Ventura, you still have some fins in 61. So let's feature that fin. And as you can see, it doesn't say Pontiac across the back. We have the letters saying Ventura and that badge. The taillights and the dual exhaust with the 1961 Land of Lincoln. Let's uh, open that up for a second, shall we, Roger? And when you open this up, we don't have any trunk and treats for you, but boy, that is quite the big trunk. We have the jack instructions. That's a retractable light that you could take around. The switch obviously didn't come as part of it. But you can see the jack is featured right there. And then the spare tire. All right, we'll close that. I want to give people the overall look of the back of this from this angle with the bubble top. And I'll take you to the inside. Actually, I'll take you right here. You can see the gas goes in. But we'll take you to the inside, may I? Sure. Thank you. And we've positioned it so that you can see that instrumentation. Now, Roger, share with me, you've got a couple of features on this car. You were sharing that the steering wheel, usually that would be a real white if it was brand new. Obviously, the car has been utilized and you drive it. Uh, and then on the back of these seats, in 61, they're metal. And they would usually be plastic. So that's pretty cool. Tell me about the other features here. Well, it has uh, emergency life. you got the emergency pedal push that a light comes on on the dash. Okay, so we've got that light right there. And then it has uh, the four-speed shifter, which is a hearse, but it is a, an option. It's uh, something we put in later. But it came with a three-speed? It came with a four-speed. Oh, it did come with a four-speed? It came with a four-speed? Yeah. Okay. And you put the hearse in later. Right. Nice. And it has the right amount of pedals. And even this door has a lot going on. You have a burgundy... I'll call it a lighter burgundy, and then this interesting pattern with the circle. So you've got kind of stripes and circles all going on. You have this for that, this is for the window, and this actually opens your door. There's also that piece there that shows you. One thing that was interesting besides these buckets, if we go in the back for a second, is this logo looks like maybe an eagle but it's actually the grill roger pointed out to me which is pretty cool let me show you kind of the th the, the angle of the window room in a bubble top that you can see well great visibility as i'll call it you can see everything in this one and as we sit inside, we have the Pontiac emblem. It's upside down right now because we've turned the wheel. Your gas. 
your generator, some aftermarket gauges there. Usually you'd have your park neutral reverse. That's missing because you have a four speed. The courtesy lighting, <clears throat> you can hear me on these seats. The Pontiac, the clock, the Ventura. And that is a big, I'll do that. That's a big glove box. But lots of room in this car. Feels really good. So Roger, let's uh, let's take this one for a ride. Okay. So I'm with Roger and we're going through the gears here in the Ventura 4-speed. How's it feel driving it? Wonderful. Talk about uh, some vision, right? With this bubble top. Holy cow. It's like the whole glass top. You can see everywhere in this thing. What, um, what's the reaction when you're driving this one? A lot of thumbs up. A lot of thumbs up. <laughs> People love it. What happens when you take this to a car show? Do they flock you or? Oh, it, 61 Pontiac and 61 GM is on strike. Is that right? So there isn't that many. So usually we're the only one at a show with a 61 Pontiac. So I, look. I didn't realize that was the case. I gotta show people a little bit of this bit in this four wheel drive. This is great. Just good stuff right there. How does it feel on the highway? It drives great. <laughs> it drives great. It looks great, drives great. I didn't realize that that's why there were so few 61 cars. That's new news to me. I'm kind of surprised I didn't know that. You're the first person to share that with me. Oh, yeah. All of my little collection. I mean, GM itself, the whole, not just Pontiac, but everybody. everybody. Well, what a fun trip. We'll take a little more time riding this one, but thanks so much, Roger. Thanks for being on the channel. You're welcome.